I'm high. What is up, YouTube land? This is, uh, what is this, Wipeout? Yeah, the original Wipeout. This is the uh, short box version, like the jewel case version. Yeah. Uh, Not a big deal. There's a long box. There's also a jewel case greatest hits, but this is the jewel case black label one. Which I'm assuming is probably the rarest, but I remember looking this one up and it's not like that crazy. Uh, so, this was made by our friends Cygnosis. Who, if you think about it, are... This was kind of their, like, breadwinner, like, franchise. Uh, when they existed. Yeah. It's definitely the series that, like, sold the most of anything that Man, they if, made. Man, if you think about it, Cygnosis... I forget, were they a developer or a publisher? No, they were a developer, because Sony was the publisher. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they were one of the most, um jack-of-all-trades developers out there like they made this and also like random point-and-click games and like city of lost children and stuff they essentially would just make anything yeah and they really wanted to like push out a lot of games and i remember uh sony being upset when Cygnosis wanted to publish things on not playstation platforms they really fought against it for a while but yeah, we're here with the original Wipeout. Uh, there's three of them on the PS1, XL, and 3. Uh, so you assume this one's going to be the roughest by far. 1995, and that's... 95. And that's... It has a copyright date of 94. I guess that's, like, when it was originally registered and whatever. So this could have been a... Uh, I actually don't know what the PS1 launch title is. Alright, so we're going to real quickly just see what a race is in one player, just to see what it is, and then we'll do two player real quick. Let's see if this was a launch title. I know what these are. Street Fighter the Movie was a PlayStation 1 uh, launch game. That's so crazy. So I want to see how this... I, I've never really seen the earlier Wipeout games. Uh, I want to see how this plays. Because it's like, if it's really fast... So this is pretty interesting. Wipeout was a launch title in Europe, but not in uh, uh, Japan in here. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, for 95, this game uh, looks and runs quite good. Oh, yeah. Um, I was kind of figuring that the speed would be faster, uh, like an F-Zero X, uh, which came out like a couple years after this on N64. But F-Zero is much faster than this game, unless I'm doing something wrong. This music, though. Pretty good amount, yeah, I think you're going about the normal speed. Uh, pretty good amount of uh, draw distance you can see in front of you, all yeah. things considered. I I said this earlier with that random Epidemic game we played, but uh, I would have been very impressed if I picked this up in 95. I mean, I was seven years old, but if I was like an adult who knew what good and bad was in terms of quality of games, I would be like, wow, this is pretty crazy being a 3D game like this. Obviously, even F-Zero for the SNES is, is a faster game than this, but... Yeah, but F-Zero I mean, for... 3D, you know. Yeah, it's just... So, yeah. Uh, yeah, not much... Nothing special now. Yeah, I, I knew this was going to be a quick video, but uh, the, the first game is pretty barren. We're going to try a uh, two-player. Yeah. There's, like, literally not even a reason to... I mean, I can imagine that XL and 3 probably have, like, more going on for them. Yeah. It plays fine. I'll bring over XL and see uh, what the differences are. Yeah. But especially for um, 95, they probably had to, like, really rush this to, like... Oh, it says no other PlayStation controller. Give me one sec. Try that again. Oh, it said System Link. Oh, System Link. Holy crap. Okay, holy crap. Uh, well, let's did try it. Did you do a championship race? I did a championship race. Let's try other things. Oh. 
My bad, guys. I've moved the AV cord, and you know how PS2s be. Yeah, I gotta say, I mean, wow, System Link. That would be something. Yeah, especially for a launch title, it's like... Oh, yeah, do first person. Dude, this music reminds me of some stuff in, uh, oddly enough, Clock Tower. Like this, like, very specific sound effect they use in some of the some of the music in Clock Tower. Oh, yeah, one. for sure. It literally sounds exactly like uh, some of the later, like, Clock uh, Scissor Man themes. Yeah. It's really weird. Like, all these Let's Try games we've been doing have been giving us very specific feels about other games. Like, I've never played a Wipeout game in my life, but, like, how can I get nostalgic over a clock tower from this? But, like, really does. You have a missile. I know how to use those. Oh, okay. Circle. That's cool. I guess you get them... After a period of time. I think it's like going over the X. Cygnosis does it again. I think the uh, the hardest thing to explain about this is that it sort of has like ice physics because yeah. it's anti-grav. And it doesn't feel too bad, but like when you hit the wall, you get like hard stops. And like when that happens, it's not fun. Yeah, and unlike, uh, say, a Mario Kart, you don't have that, like, move where you can, like, kind of, like, drift. Or at least you probably don't. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, I guess I'll just finish this race, see what happens. I guess. <laughs> at least it'll be a ten minute video, then. Maybe I'll get not sixth place. Oh. Shield. Doesn't even hurt him. Weak. Oh, baby. Yeah, this just suffers from like the the early PS One. Ooh, what was that? Doesn't matter because I just keep ramming into walls. <laughs> That's how I feel playing every Mario Kart game. Doesn't matter. Yeah, no! Go! That sucks. You even pushed him ahead then. Yeah, that's really a really weird physics when you hit Yeah, other the, co the collision on, like, hitting walls or other drivers is just not correct. I mean, obviously, this was at a time where I, I don't believe any racing games would have had any sort of, um, uh, damage happening to the vehicles or whatever, so I get that, but it's very odd. The uh, heck was that? I don't know. Alright, last lap. Maybe someone used, like, Try uh... Get first. Maybe someone used, like, what is essentially the, uh, uh, lightning bolt of this game. Man, you, like, you haven't been playing bad, and you haven't even sniffed first. Yeah, at least I'm not an eighth, but yeah. where is even second? Missiles and stuff don't do enough. Yeah, they just slow you down. For a second. It's one of those things that you figure if there's a white valve, like, two or three, they would fix that. Why am I stopping randomly? So there's second. No. That was the choke for a second. Rip. Everyone's gonna everyone's gonna uh, D sub if you don't get second. Well, it's all over. He used his force field. I'm not even gonna get third. Nah, this is the time. Pushes him ahead. I'm trying to do anything, but the the tracks are so skinny, and the like the hitboxes on yeah it's so awkward 
And you can't use weapons till your uh, current thing runs out. That's kind of lame. Third. What uh, the heck? The most ugly person in the world. So yeah, this game is I like... I cannot read this uh, text. I can't either. Dryda Tetsuyo Dad... Dad died <laughs> Cherovisky? Sure. Uh, A's look really weird. Excellent. We did it. Alright, so this game is pick up any of the other wipeouts. Yeah. It's a good uh, foundation, but sure shows its age now. Alright, thank you very much, guys. I hope you have a great day, and uh... Bye!